You guys ever have like that moment where you know you're about to eat and so you just start like dancing? Antoinette and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to make panko shrimp. Yep, we're doing fried shrimp. Let's get started because I am hungry. In order to make it, you need flour, there's a couple of eggs, vegetable oil, panko breadcrumb, and some delightful Creole seasoning. Here's the panko breadcrumbs all shifted out on a plate. The shrimp have all been peeled and deveined. And in terms of utensils, we need a set of tongs, a place to put our shrimp when we're done frying, and a big old fat cast iron skillet, y'all. I'm gonna crack an egg, and we're gonna whip the egg. Just wanna make sure that it's nice and mixed. We are going to season all of our shrimp. Shrimp is really light. You don't need a ton of seasoning. We're gonna take with our tongs, some shrimp, and we're just gonna throw it in the flour. You can also take the flour and put it in a bag, it's gonna flip the shrimp. We're gonna shake it off. We take it from the flour, as you, as you can see here. We're gonna dip it in the egg, and then dip it in the breadcrumbs. Give it a nice little pat. Grab it by the tail, flip. And then we're gonna hold it, grab it, and then put it on a plate to get ready to fry. So we're just gonna repeat this over and over and over again. put it in the plate and you know one by one or you can put it in a beautiful ziploc bag to hurry up and shake all the shrimp we're gonna do that right now too but i wanted to show you both methods are just fine to all of our flour is going to go in this plastic bag We have all our shrimp here. We are literally just gonna shake it up. Okay, okay voici. Here it is. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you see, you now have just fast forwarded all of <laughs> that time. One thing you can do as you're prepping the shrimp is go ahead and put the oil in the pan. Now you don't want the oil to sit for too long because that's an easy way to cause a grease fire. So we've set our dial to about five, so on about medium heat, and we put a about a half an inch around the pan of vegetable oil. I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right, everybody, we are all done coating the shrimp and this is what it looks like. Notice that you'll see all of the panko breadcrumbs, they are evenly coated. We're also gonna test the heat to make sure that our pan is hot enough. I just get a little bit of water going. I put my hand in the water just to get a couple drops, then throw it in the pan. Notice how it pops, it almost sounds like popcorn. And that's how you know you're ready to fry. Make sure you have your handy pan right next to the grease because the shrimp is gonna cook in about five minutes and then it's out and onto the side and your next batch goes in. Right, here we go. This is gonna be really super fast, so make sure you get everything in quickly. And notice how they're getting golden brown really quickly, so flip them. The second, they, you see a little bit of golden brown on the edge. Do not delay with shrimp because you will have burnt shrimp sooner than you would imagine. And there you have it. So, see how fast that was? It's 
just a matter of minutes. So we're going to go ahead and put the shrimp that are nice and golden brown on both sides, as you can see. Yummy! Right over on the side. And you'll also hear, not only will you see the nice golden brown color, but you'll also hear the grease slowing down. It's like the popping is not as intense. It starts to slow down as the shrimp cook. And boom! See that everyone? There you have your first batch of fried shrimp. Now you just have to repeat for the other batches. So for baked potatoes, I like to cook mine in the microwave because it's fast. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna wash the potatoes, wash all of the outside, we're gonna keep the skin on, poke it with whole so it can breathe, and then put it on the microwave on one of the instant settings. And in about six minutes, they'll be done. You guys ever have like that moment where you know you're about to eat and so you just start like, dancing because you're so like you're doing like that food dance you know like uh, uh, I'm about to eat uh, uh, we're gonna eat soon I mean do you guys all have like a food dance to where like you're getting ready to eat and you're like hungry but you're happy and you know you're gonna eat something really good so you just kind of start dancing let me know down in the comments below do you guys dance when you cook like or do you dance when you eat or do you not have time to dance at all? You just, you're just too busy eating. All right, we've got our first official set we're gonna put in the oven. And also notice how I have like a wired rack here. So the shrimp are resting on a wired rack because I don't wanna put it directly on the paper towels because it's gonna soak up and then you're gonna have soggy shrimp and then you want fried shrimp, not soggy shrimp. But we're gonna put this in the oven on low and close it up. Our potatoes are done, so now we're going to grab some foil and we're going to keep them warm. So now that we're waiting for the last batch of shrimp to fry, I'm going to go ahead and see if I can clean up all this mess. For our baked potatoes, I like to have a little bit of uh, green onions, so I'm going to wash them, chop them up, and get ready for our baked potatoes. Now it's time to put everything together. Our green onions are now transferred to a bowl. And I'm going to grab some butter and sour cream. Let's see, we have tomatoes and some lettuce down below. Let's actually dress this baked potato. Slice it down the middle. Squeeze the ends, it's nice and tight. Don't forget about our lovely pieces of shrimp. Also, we have a nice little teeny uh, prep bowl for a cocktail sauce. Our delicious green salad our panko crusted shrimp that we just fried up, a delicious baked potato with butter, sour cream, salt, pepper, and green onions, and a little cocktail sauce. So now that you know how to make a panko crusted shrimp Sunday dinner, it's time for you to start learning how to frolic, have the courage to make it yourself, and then go eat a delicious meal. Bye y'all.